Spanish explorers first visited the site, then a camp of the Payaya Indians, in 1691. San Antonio was founded May 1, 1718, when a Spanish expedition from Mexico established the mission San Antonio de Valero. The mission, later called the Alamo, Spanish, Cottonwood, was one of five founded in the area and was named for Saint Anthony of Padua. On May 5 the Presidio, military garrison, known as San Antonio de Bejar was established nearby. The site, on the river's west bank, was a stopping place on the trail through the Texas wilderness between missions on the Rio Grande and those in East Texas. In 1731 settlers from the Canary Islands laid out the town of San Fernando de Bejar near the Presidio, where a civilian community had been planned when the Presidio and Mission were established. During its early years the settlement suffered from raids by Apache and Comanche tribes. The Mission was secularized in 1793 and became a military post. San Fernando de Bejar functioned as provincial capital from 1773 to 1824, but in subsequent years its political authority waned. By 1837, when it became a county seat of the Republic of Texas, it had been renamed San Antonio. At the time of Mexican independence in 1821, San Antonio was, along with Goliath and Nacogdoches, one of three established Spanish communities in Texas. In the summer of that year, Stephen Austin arrived in the city then seat of the Spanish government in Texas to follow through on a permit obtained by his father for the admission of 300 U.S. families into the territory. In December 1835, at the outset of the Texas Revolution, Texan forces occupied the Alamo. They remained there until March 1836, when they were massacred by Mexican troops under General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana following a 13-day siege. The Presidio ceased to exist with the independence of Texas in April. In 1836 San Antonio was still the foremost city of Texas, with some 2,500 inhabitants. It grew rapidly after independence, led by large numbers of German immigrants. During the last decades of the 19th century, San Antonio, as the starting point for the Chisholm Trail, became a major cattle center. military center during World Wars I and II, a factor that continued to dominate its economy in subsequent decades. In 1968 a World's Exposition, known as Hemisphere, was held there to commemorate the city's 250th anniversary and to celebrate its cultural ties with Latin America. In 1981 Henry Cisneros was elected the city's first Hispanic mayor since the mid-19th century, Cisneros served until 1989. In 2001 Ed Garza was elected. the city's second modern era Hispanic mayor and was in office until 2005. All right, behind the Walmarts, there's uh, across a little road, a little bit of a, a dumping ground back here. 
nice wooded area but it's covered in trash and it doesn't seem like it's like homeless homeless activity so much it just seems like people are just dumping trash all around attempts at cleaning it up uh, are pretty weak oh no there's kind of kind of homeless activity is this homeless activity or dumping it's definitely a lot of trash and carts it looks like somebody's living over there for sure <clears throat> see that's the best way to disguise yourself is to have trash all around and then you live on the side of it or something Over here looks like there's some activity. Yeah, maybe this is more homeless. Homeless life. This line over here. Oh yeah, somebody's here. Certainly. No, maybe not. Somebody was here. They made a nice shack for themselves. Oh. Yeah, nice bed. Can that be seen? It smells kind of fresh. <laughs> oh my god, somebody... They might booby trap it. <laughs> Can this be seen? It actually smells like... Uh, somebody's still using it. You got a shelving. It's all tarp. Nice two-person bed. I do not have a flashlight. They got a carpet. Oh my god, this is a house. I could still smell the, the perspiration off their body. It smells relatively fresh. Look at this. I can't even walk around it. This, uh, this has uh, vegetation that's grown around it. But they've used various wood they've nailed. Like this person was previously a contractor. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It smells, yeah, it smells like, it doesn't smell like bad. Okay, here we go. So this is the wall. This is a genuine homeless shack. That you could, I could stand up fully erect in oh my god what a pile of cans collecting cans beer cans mostly <clears throat> somebody is actually somebody actually made a successful shack I could just move in that's a move-in special right there you got good good protection not easy to see this is cute. I wonder what it was for. Yeah, that's that's the main one. Maybe that was all that trash is mostly homeless activity. <clears throat> Behind the Walmart. Because it's pretty it's it's fairly concentrated. Huh. And, and then further back, I don't know, there's somebody, somebody was or somebody currently is successfully living. It's, it's uh, 743, a lot of, there's a good chance they would still be here if <laughs> they got a job, like they got a job to go to. You can see the Hyatt place, there's a children's hospital over here. And then further woods back here. There might be something deeper into the woods too. They chose they chose a better better tree line to uh, make their their homeless shelter. So this is the second best homeless homeless shelter I've ever seen. It's over in this tree line. This oak oak trees covering it. Good oak shade. It doesn't stink at all. It's actually, hmm, 
I'm not gonna make any more comments on the smell. It's just the scent, not the smell. Oh, there's a little fence here. The first, the best one I've seen um, was was uh, that one in Washington behind the shopping district. The dude was still sleeping in it when I went there, and it was like multi-roomed and deep in the forest. You had to walk pretty far. You don't have to walk too far for this one. <clears throat> the third best was, man, you know, I can't remember the cities. I can envision them. It was... It was the south, the one south of, in Utah, up on a tall hill. Uh, it was it was pretty well made. Um, Saint something. Uh, three, I've seen three good ones that are are definite permanent uh, um, structures made using like screws or nails, putting boards together for more of a permanent structure. So yeah, this is the road, all this trash, somehow he's made a kingdom out of his trash, out of all this trash. You can't see it from the road. This Is this a main road? There's people driving on it. I could probably drive on this road. <laughs> I think it might be a public road. And this person could make, make, a, make a shelter off this road that's not visible there it is it's just barely visible i can see the blue roof of the tarp and that's that's probably my best angle right there to see it off of the road everywhere further down this road you're just going to see a lot of trash and you people will probably assume that blue that taller can't even see it can't really see it through here nice trail it's been well worn people in and out cannot see it from the road well hidden <clears throat> and then this is walmart of course <clears throat> all right so to dead in this light because it's so bright i want to look in a uh, homeless shack uh but this it's got such a concentrated light in the center i want to dead in that and I want to cut this plastic excess off using the clamp of the GoPro, the large clamp to, to hold it in place. All right, so I'm going to this homeless shelter again with a 360 on and a flashlight. You can see it's this trail that goes back here. Try to be as cautious as I can. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Do I even need to turn the camera? Okay. <clears throat> Just want to be careful about the the shaking, I think. What is in here? Hmm. You can see got stuff underneath the bed. All kinds of garbage. It's like a abandoned house, pretty much. Oh, I got a, a power cord for two. Oh no, neither one are that good. Just a lot of junk in here. So there's enough room for a queen size bed. And they even have a window? Like a, oh, not, not really. All right, just a quick check. I'll turn off the light. And that's it. What have we in here? Oh, it's too light. It amazes me how, how much packing has a lot of benefits to um, getting more room in this container. See, it's filled to the top. So I just want to pack it down so I can make more room for what I have left. 
I want to be kind of careful with packing so I don't spread it out too much. So now I got that extra space and well almost enough room for everything. Still got a little left in there. Just want to keep trying to pack it down. If I crushed everything I would turn it into a powder and then have more room. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I didn't expect the, the bus route to be so complicated. I thought I'd just take a round trip, um, but that's not the case. I have to take a, another bus to get back.